Excuse me, there's been a noise complaint. Excuse me, is anyone there? Okay, ma'am. Oh god. Officer. Officer, I'm at the Hilton Hotel in Madama, 261 West Wellington Street. There's been a murder in one of the rooms. I responded from a noise complaint from room 210, that the room in 211 was too, the TV was too loud. So I opened the door at the master key after no answer, and I saw a woman dead, naked on the bed. Did you see anything else? No, I didn't see anything. I'm sorry, I'm not much help. I really have to get back to work. From the looks of the bullet direction, I'd say he was standing right about here. And then as the struggle went on, he could have pushed her off the, on the bed, and she would have fell. <laughs> and he shot her as she fell. Oh, Could you explain how the blood spatter is in different areas? Looks like the perp left in a hurry. He left his jacket. Thank you. Nice. Right. Keep the chain of custody there, Alex. Take a look at this. There seems to be some kind of particle underneath her nails. Could be skin. Maybe she got a good scratch on the guy. Could be. Check underneath her nails. I'm going to go to the front office and see if they got any good footage of a good look at this guy. Hi, we're investigating a homicide next door. Did you hear any strange noises? All I heard was a darn TV blasted. So, I banged on the wall and nothing happened. So, I called the popo. Okay, um, anything else? Nope. Oh. Thanks for your help. I remember her, a very pretty woman. She was sweet and made all the men turn their heads. <laughs> there was a man, if I remember clearly, who seemed to pay close attention to her. He went upstairs about 15 minutes after she had checked in. It was like they knew each other or something. She was always turning around to make yeah, sure he was still there. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to find fibers off of this jacket. There seems to be nothing here, except <gasps> I found something. Take a look at this. There's always something. There's a hair. Maybe I could analyze it and see where it came from. Hopefully it's embryonic. Hopefully. While well, you're looking at that, I'm going to look at these bullet shells. I'm seeing some very weird striations. Kind of looks like it came from a regular standard pistol, preferably a USP 45. All right. Um, look in the database. Maybe it's registered under someone's name. And then we can get closer to who did this. Of course. Looks of it. It looks like there might be skin retrieved under Nicole Stahl's nails at the crime scene. Maybe there was a bit of a struggle and she fought back. Maybe. We'll have to analyze it. Let's put some on under the microscope to see what we can get. Sounds like a plan. What'd you come up with? I don't know, take a look at this. It looks like cells from the epidermis. Hmm, yes, it does. The victim was identified as Nicole Stahl. She had two gunshot wounds, one through the palm of her hand, right here, and the second one was through her heart, which killed her. Now, the scene showed obvious signs of struggle, and according to rigor mortis, She's been dead for at least eight hours. There was a look at the body. I found out that she was raped. And there's one more thing. The victim was six weeks pregnant. Steve! What? We found the evidence. What evidence? The security tapes of you entering and leaving the scene of the crime. We also found your jacket with Nicole's hair on it. And in addition, we found the bullet cases. She was your girlfriend, wasn't she? Yes, I'll admit. I went over to the Hilton Hotel. I was going to go see Nicole. See, 
Me and her, we had an affair, but we were supposed to keep it secret. Because I have a reputation to hold. I have a wife and I have kids. I can't let people know that I'm having an affair with a woman. Like that, you know? I go over to her house, it's like a weekly thing, because I always go to see her. You know, talk about the good stuff, talk about life. She told me she was pregnant. And I couldn't take that in I had this gun on me that my friend Carl gave me. I just said, I thought I'd be holding it around for like fun because he needed to borrow and stuff, and his wife was coming home. I thought I could take the gun. Maybe it would happen. So I held it in the back pocket on the way over. But she told me she was pregnant, and I was so infuriated with anger that I killed her. I shot her through the hand, it was through the struggle. I remember that. Oh. And I shot her right through the heart. Nicole, how are you? Come on in. All right. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I've been better. What's wrong? Something happened. Tell me what. You know I'm here for you. I'm pregnant. No. I'm sorry. No. It just happened. No. I just realized I went to doctors today and... Why would you do this to me? Why would I do this to you?